there friends, I hope you're okay. As you know all, we are living trying times because of the coronavirus outbreak. We have been on lockdown for three weeks now. I know it's not easy, but we have to stay at home to be safe. So please stay at home. Go back to today's lesson. Are you sure we will overcome this crisis? I mean, this pandemic. Yes, I'm sure we will if we maintain social distancing and take protective measures of cleanness. Oh, I'm not sure about it because the majority of people are not aware of the dangers that COVID-19 can cause to human bodies. Do you guess today's lesson? Of course, it's about certainty and uncertainty. So today we are going to learn how to express certainty and uncertainty. Are you ready? So let's get started. So let's study this dialogue. You have two speakers. Speaker number one, do you think that scientists will find out a cure to COVID-19 soon? Speaker number two, I'm sure they will. So speaker number two is expressing certainty by using I'm sure, I'm sure they will. So I'm sure that scientists will find out a cure to COVID-19 soon, because for example, we have very uh, brainy or very professional and experienced scientists in the world. You can say, I'm sure they won't if you have a different view. So certainty is when you are confident or sure that something will happen or won't happen in the future, okay? Of course, there are plenty of expressions used for certainty. Let's have a look at the following list. So to express certainty, we can use, I am sure that, I am sure that scientists, for example, will find a cure to treat coronavirus disease or I am certain about, or that. So I'm certain about plus verb ing. I'm certain, for example, about uh, defeating coronavirus disease. We can also use I am convinced that, I am convinced that, or I have no doubt about it. I have no doubt about it, which means I am sure. Another expression, which is a little bit formal, it is crystal clear that, it is crystal clear that scientists will find a cure to coronavirus disease soon. You can simply say definitely, absolutely. You can also use undoubtedly. Scientists will undoubtedly find a cure to coronavirus disease. We can also use must, the model verb must, okay? Let's change the topic, for example. Uh, the man, that man has an expensive car. He must be very rich. He must be very rich, okay? Good. Now, let's shift to uncertainty. We have always a dialogue to well understand the lesson. So speaker number one, I think we will overcome the pandemic of coronavirus disease. Speaker number two, I am in two minds about it. I am in two minds about it. So speaker number two here is expressing uncertainty by using this expression, I am in two minds about it. He is not sure or he has doubts about overcoming this pandemic, okay? So uncertainty is when you are not sure about something, when you have doubts about something. Of course, there are other expressions, so let's discover them. So to express uncertainty, you can say, I am not sure about, or I am not sure that. Another expression, I am uncertain that, or I am 
uncertain about or I am not certain that I am not certain about. Another expression that is uh, already studied in the dialogue, I am in two minds about it. I have doubts or I doubt that. It is possible that, for example, it is possible that it rains today because there are clouds in the sky. We can also use the model verbs may and might. For example, it's cloudy today, so it may rain or it might rain. Is it clear? Good. Now let's practice. Do you think that Selma will arrive on time? So here you have helping sentences. She is always punctual. So punctual means that the person is on time, respects time. So what are you going to express here? Are you going to express certainty or uncertainty? Of course, certainty. So what are you going to say? I'm sure about it or simply definitely. Okay, I'm sure about it or definitely. Definitely, she is always punctual. Here, what do you have? She is never on time, which means that it's the opposite of sentence number one. So here, what are you going to express? Of course, uncertainty. You can say, for example, I doubt or I have doubts. I have doubts. She is never on time. Is it clear? Good. Okay, dear friends, I hope you get today's lesson. Now it's your turn to express certainty and uncertainty about current issues. Okay, this is the end of this video. Remember, stay at home. Thank you for watching.